Welcome to the Pittsburgh Cable News Channel. I'm your host, Lenny McAllister, here for another edition of Night Talk. Get to the point. Let's start this episode with a starting point that promotes the theme of a movement in a day here in Pennsylvania that is crystal clear. Drugs kill dreams. Yes, it's very easy to say, just as former First Lady Nancy Reagan's campaign of Just Say No was easy to remember in advance back in the 1980s. Yet, despite that basic, logical, and welcoming understanding of health, family, and life, we find more people from all backgrounds across the nation struggling still with the impact of drugs in America, whether they are drug users or their loved ones. Now, based on the newest political movement to legalize marijuana or to foster a live and let live legal environment for adults, we see a trend to decriminalize marijuana from citations for possession here in the city of Pittsburgh to authorize recreational use in Colorado and Washington state. We hear the arguments pointing back to the failures of a prohibition and the need for us to respect the pursuit of happiness for all, even if that happiness comes from popping a few pills every now and then. Of course, the legal realities of drug use do not reflect the economic, social, educational, and health-related realities that too many Americans endure. Multiple studies have shown that long-term marijuana use has led to psychosis and cognitive issues, that is, inabilities to learn and retain information later in life. Perhaps that's why those that regularly use drugs, whether legally or otherwise, have problems retaining employment and sustaining relationships and stable economic footing over the long term. They suffer this along with increased risk of incurring several deadly health conditions. Even with the law on our side and good luck in our genes, the impact of the drug game, where, as Ice-T said many years ago, life is weighed on the scales of a triple beam. The cost has been too much for us to bear as a nation. We have thrown away too much talent and forgotten about days when doctors and lawyers spent their childhoods growing up in projects and trailers, only to become world leaders and groundbreakers. America won't be whole until we're able to bring back more Americans from the abyss. And we can't come back from the abyss of broken politics, ineffective policies, and social strife without some success dealing with the aftermath of the internal and national war on drugs. We cannot ask our fellow Americans, especially our youth, to push for progress while continuing the flow of poison in our veins. Now this fight is personal to me. Personal because I love this nation and want us to get back to being whole. Personal to me because I have seen some family, classmates, and loved ones struggle with the physical toils of drugs and the spiritual demons of addiction. We have an obligation to defeat America's enemies, foreign and domestic. And while some of those names of those international foes may sound odd to us at first, Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, Kim Jong-un, the names of some domestic enemies are easy to recognize as their names are found in the medicine cabinets, the pop culture, the music selections, and the secret party stashes all across our country. It's time for us to protect the America within us just as much as we do the American borders around us.